thank you so much, uh, colleagues, especially KD, for giving me this opportunity to present uh, my nursing observation and experiences in the management of severe eczema. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to focus on nursing observations and what we do as nurses in support of these patients. So eczema is uh, also known as atopic dermatitis. I think it's been discussed. It's a condition that mostly common in our setups and the severe eczema is what we see most in our inpatient settings. So severity varies from person to person and diagnosis is usually made through clinical manifestations. So here the nurse practitioner is very, very important in the, in the role of diagnosis and even managing these patients. So for the nurse, comprehensive history taking and physical examination are the most essential skills in their practice to help these patients have better outcomes. So the nurse practitioner assesses the patient holistically and makes a nursing diagnosis, which is in relation to the clinical diagnosis. Most often the nurses also have the, their experiences, but this experience must be backed up with a scientific basis. So the nursing diagnosis is usually a scientific assumption of what is happening based on their knowledge of the disease process. So ensure that the nurse must be the nurse should always be knowledgeable, especially on the disease process. So this is then used to make a nursing care plan, which is implemented in collaboration with the patient throughout care. So this process directs nursing actions with clear goals, whereby the nurses must understand clinical outcomes and share this with the patients. And at the end of it all, is evaluated by the clinical team to ensure that these goals are achieved in partnership with the patient as well as with the clinicians. So I want to present the role of the nurse in this pictorial, whereby you find that the nurse is at the center of everything. Diagnosis to management, to support the patient and in the overall maintenance of quality of life for this particular patient or client. So in essence, the nurse actually assesses and manages these symptoms. Once the patient comes, it is the nurse who takes history and this history must be very, very comprehensive. It includes history about occupation, hobbies, dressing and cosmetic habits, of the patient so that they can be able to identify the most important triggers in this condition. The nurse also assesses other significant comorbidity as well as pre-existing conditions. As we've, as we've already seen that severe eczema also has some preconditions or comorbids that exist alongside the disease. So as a nurse, they should be able to make an assessment, especially nutrition and metabolic assessment. The nurse is able to carry out nutrition review for the patient. And remember, especially when we see mothers with, with kids with eczema, you find that the baby comes, the mother, the baby comes in a state that already there's malnutrition, there are deficiencies. The mother has already eliminated all sorts of proteins in the diet. So this baby is probably anemic and it's the nurse who is in a position to assess all this. And in terms of physical examination, the nurse is supposed to assess the patient, especially skin integrity. This whereby the skin is assessed for breakages, the skin condition, the dry, dryness, itchiness, stinginess, stingy skin, whether the skin is infected, the nurse is the one who is supposed to assess this so that they are able to apply the relevant moisturizers, daily dressing, 
occlusive barrier dressings to assist in healing of the breakage of the skin. So in terms of uh, evaluating health-related quality of life, the nurse still becomes a very important person in the management of this patient. And there are three main domains that we normally assess. Pain and comfort, very, very important and key. The nurse must manage pain and comfort in terms of, uh, of optimizing medicine to control inflammation. Then the nurse is also monitoring the patient's activity and exercise. Remember, this is a patient who must always also we need to maintain their lifestyles. So we assess whether the patient is maintaining their healthy routines, whether they are able to do activities of daily living and accomplish them. If it's a child, if they're not playing, then they are not accomplishing the the activities of daily living. So we plan self-care activities with this patient and ensure that they're able to accomplish them. Then sleep and rest, very, very important. A patient with severe eczema, definitely the sleep is interrupted. So we assess quality and quantity of sleep. There are sleep interruptions for the mother who is managing a child with severe eczema. So they will report that not sleeping, they're not able to cover themselves with blankets, they are itching. So these are the parameters that we assess in terms of evaluating the patient's quality of life. Then before that, I'm pressing it so much. There is also disturbed body image. Remember, this is a, a client with already there are changes in their skin, especially the face, the hands. So this is a patient who is already having a disturbed body image. They are wondering, are they going to wear long sleeves all through? So we assess self-perception and self-concept. Talk with the patient and ask them how they are actually regarding themselves so that we are able to assist them to cope with stress and anxiety. We are able to assist them to have positive attitudes about themselves and then improve their self-esteem. So if they are ladies, you can imagine the self-esteem, if they are students, if they are young people. So this is also a very important area in terms of impacting quality of life for patients with severe eczema. Then lastly, we're looking at uh, addressing knowledge deficit in these patients. We, we normally encounter pa these patients when they're already coming loaded with knowledge. If they have steroids, they have, they're telling you, this is about this drug, this drug, this drug. So we as nurses are able to sit them down and do medication management, education with them, and the goal here is to, is to, is to, is to optimize medi medicine management. Let them understand that these many med medications are supposed to help them to, to manage their condition. And one example of this is that we normally find encounter mothers who they, they, they want to really minimize the use of the, the ointments and they're telling you this tube is supposed to, I want it to last me like two weeks. But here they are being told to apply it liberally. So you really need to talk to these patients in terms of medicine optimization. Otherwise their symptoms will not go away. And again, this will also help us to support them in adhering and complying with the treatment regimens. So in terms of uh, disease process, this is also another area where knowledge deficit is really prominent. Patients come telling you that this disease is about this, this, this. So we, are not, we as nurses are able to sit them down, teach them about disease process so that they are able to identify triggers for eczema and then other factors related to flare-ups so that we are also able to discuss with them the myths 
and misunderstandings that they, they always come with. So in conclusion, I think holistic approach to management of eczema is very paramount. Teamwork and collaboration among practitioners enhances patient-centered care. And this is where the nurses come in. So I'm happy to hear that many practitioners here come from various parts of the country. So from this sitting, let your nurses not run away from skin patients. I know I've met so many nurses who see skin patients and they just take off. They don't have to touch them. <laughs> So prompt diagnosis and management is everyone's responsibility. Let the nurse in your team understand that they are also important in diagnosis and especially management of these patients so that we can achieve quality outcomes for them. That's my conclusion. Thank you.